Welcome to 2019, folks. My name is Paul Gavin, and I've been making my entire living as a freelance musician for three years, eight months, and three days. And on this video, we're talking about the skills that actually get you hired for gigs. If you want to get more gigs in 2019, it might be a good time to take an inventory of the skills that you actually have on your instrument. In this video, I'm going to list for you five of the skills that have kept me hireable and therefore hired, which means making money as a musician. First, sight reading. Being able to read and interpret music immediately when you see it is the difference between having to do hours of rehearsals or complete strangers being able to put a performance together in the same day. In fact, that's going to be happening to me the week after next. I've got two gigs on Monday and Wednesday where I'm going to be sight reading a book for a rehearsal and then playing a concert that night. And that's just not possible with a group of musicians who cannot sight read. Being able to read music the first time you see it and interpret it accurately and musically makes a huge difference in your higher ability. Just another example, February through April, I'm going to be playing about two gigs a week about every other week with the Stardust Memories Big Band, one of my favorite gigs of the year, every single year. We're playing about 15 shows this year, and on all 15 of those shows, I'm going to be sight reading music that I generally haven't played that much. Again, I've got 15 gigs with that band coming up. That's money, folks. If you're not a good sight reader, I want you to start working on that in 2019 because it's going to enable you to get gigs. It's going to make you more hireable. When people discover that you sight read accurately the first time you see music, they're going to start talking. And when they start talking, they're going to refer you to other people and you're going to start getting hired. Next, being able to learn music by ear. Kind of the opposite side of what I just talked about with sight reading is, you know, sometimes charts don't get provided. Sometimes there's no sheet music. And when there's no sheet music, that means that you have to learn the music by by ear. Sometimes all you get to prepare for a gig is a set list. Sometimes you get that set list two or three days before the gig. That means sometimes you're going to have to learn an entire set list quickly by ear. So it's really important to be able to have that skill as well. If you can't learn tunes by ear, you're missing out on money, plain and simple, just like that. When musicians on your scene are confident that they can send you tunes and that you will learn them by ear and be able to play them quickly and soon, they're going to start talking about you and they're going to start getting you hired. That means making money as a musician. Third, repertoire. You don't want people to say this about you. Man, he plays great, but he doesn't know any tunes. If you don't know the standards and the genres that you play in, people are going to talk about that and you're going to end up missing out on gigs. On the other side, if people know that you know a whole lot of tunes, then you're going to get talked about and you're going to get hired. People on my scene in Tampa, they kind of talk about people that know a lot of tunes with reverence. It's a little bit too much. But really, they'll say, man, you can just start a tune and he knows exactly where to go with it. He knows all the tunes. That's what you want people to say about you. You want people to say that. Whether it's jazz, R&B, rock, salsa music, whatever genre of music you play, if you know the standards, the songs that people are always playing, Playing in those genres, people are going to talk about you and people are going to start hiring you. Fourth, improvisation. And folks, this applies to every single instrument out there. If you know how to improvise, you just became twice as hireable as you were before. From an artistic standpoint, improvisation adds a ton to the music and that's all well and good, but just even from a purely practical standpoint, if you can improvise on a tune, that means you can help the leader stretch a tune out. And when you help a leader stretch the tune out, you make the gig easier for everybody. When you can sound good improvising on the chords of any tune, you just became a lot more valuable to the gig. And I know that sounds a little sterile and unartistic, but truthfully in this video, I'm not talking about art. I'm talking about hireable skills that will make you money. And being able to improvise and stretch out tunes is going to make you more valuable. Whether you play saxophone, violin, or you're a singer, no matter what you do, if you can improvise, people are going to talk about you and you're going to start getting hired. And lastly, knowing many styles. This is it's probably the biggest one out of all of these. Because if you can play jazz, and you can play rock, and you can play R&B, and you can play hip-hop, and you can do musical theater gigs, every single one of those possibilities opens up a ton of opportunities. And the more of those opportunities you have access to, the more likely you are to get called, the more likely you are to get hired, the more likely you are to make money as a musician, and that's what we're here talking about today. If people are thinking, man, she sounds authentic in every single style she plays, that means that people are going to say that about you as well. And when they're saying that about you, you're going to get hired more. Folks, I want you to take note here. This is important. The number one way that I've been hired for gigs has been receiving recommendations from fellow musicians. I played a gig with them, and while I was on the gig, I did a good job, and I showed them I had two or three or maybe five of these skills. And by having these skills, they learned that I was capable. And when people learn that you're capable, they remember that. They remember that. 
And then at some point, someone says, man, I need a drummer for this gig. Let me give Ben a call. When they give Ben a call, what you want them to do is mention your name because they know that you have those skills. Recommendations are a big deal and they're also sticking your neck out for somebody because the last thing you want to do is recommend someone for a gig and then they bomb it. Not only have you hurt a gig, but you've also damaged a friendship or a business relationship and that's the last thing we want to be doing as professional musicians. So we take our recommendations really seriously. Lastly, as a bonus, I want to share with you how to get recommended. This attitude that I'm about to share with you has caused me to remain hireable, I believe, for my entire career, and this is what it is. You ready for this? You're always auditioning. You're always auditioning. How often? You're always auditioning. Every single time you get together with a group of musicians, every time you pick up your instrument and put it together, I want you to put this attitude together as well. I am auditioning right now. Because the people that are around you, whether they're people that you've been with for a long time, or especially if they're musicians that you're meeting for the first time, you're going to make an impression on them. And if your impression is, I have these five skills, I can sight read, I can improvise, etc. When you can do all of those things and you show that on a rehearsal or a gig, people will remember. And when they remember, you're going to pass that audition. When you pass that audition, they're going to talk about you and they're going to hire you. That's going to lead you to make more money as a professional musician. How about it? If you're lacking in one or more of these hireable skills, 2019 is the year to do it. I want you to write them down and make some goals and focus on these hireable skills. They're going to make you more money, I promise. If you found any value in this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. It's going to help me reach more people. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Paul. It's good to meet you. On this channel, I do vlogs about being a professional musician and shorter videos like this. And I also do educator resources to help people teach their drummers a little bit better. If any of that's the kind of thing that would interest you, I would love for you to subscribe. I think there's a lot of negativity out there in the music world. What I want me and you to do is lock arms, lift each other up, and rise together. I'll see you in the next one.